there we go. Good morning. Hi, everybody. I hope you're well. Uh, uh, my name's Cricket. Welcome to uh, Corner Coffee. Uh, um, got my coffee right here. Um, it's Wednesday here in Australia. It's raining today, so kind of icky out. Um, bear with me as I'm working through technical. I'm not used to, um, not used to, um, technical doing things on my own. Hey, everybody. Good morning. I hope everybody's well. Hey, Barb, Jennifer. Good morning. Molly. Good morning. I hope everyone's well. I'll turn my phone down here. There we go. Um, bear with me here as I'm trying to get everything uh, uh, I'm on my own technically so I'm working on trying to uh, okay here we go it helps if I hit the right button here we go I should have had this done soon so I apologize for that I hope everybody's well yeah, um, it's good to see everybody in chat today. Thanks, guys, for for coming. There we go. Oh, thanks, Jess. Um, yeah, I want to take just a minute and send some um, advice, prayers, whatever you do uh, to the Texas or shooting school shooting in Texas this morning, uh, U.S. time. Or yesterday, I'm not sure when. Um, uh, no worries. The, thanks, Joey's World. Appreciate you stopping in, Lisa. Um, we're just getting news of it here, so and it's I don't know any details. I just know um, there's been 18 souls lost. So I want to um, whatever you, you know. So let's go on to some positive stuff here. Um, as you can see, I no longer wear the rag, so the hair is there. Um, so happy about the white dresser. There we go. Um, yes, it is heartbreaking. It's happened again. I'm just, I'm, I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad my, my granddaughters aren't where they aren't there, or grandkids. How am I doing? I'm doing well, Lisa. Thanks for asking. A little stiff, working on a back issue at the moment before I um, can start another small round of treatment, but I'm hanging in there. Um, you guys see me floating around Disney streams, but I also love Disney. I, uh, um, Phil and I took our honeymoon at Disney. We, um, the first... We saw Fantasmic. I can't wait for it to come back. Um, saw The Lion King. Um, you know, we saw all those great parades and and things that, that we were there. There was, talking about food, everybody's talking about Disney food. I don't know if they still make them anymore or not. But there was a, oh, we about that big around. It was chocolate. Uh, it's a cookie. And it had Mickey on the front of it, and and Phil just fell in love with those, and that was our Chalky Mickey Bickies. And so we always had to have a Chalky Mickey Bicky to um, as as we were there. So if some if somebody keep an eye out for that next time you go, I'm curious if they still have them. But that's been 20 years ago, so um, I doubt it. Um, we took my girls a couple of times we we um which that was interesting but that's okay it was, we had a great magic time and the second time uh we went we, my mom wanted to go which that was just amazing to you know to get to take her and and the girls were old enough that we um they had to earn time on their own is is how we did it because of part you know the parks and things so we, you know, I think my watch had a timer on it. So we set the timer for three hours and they'd have to um, check in every three hours to earn their next bit of time. But they got caught by a parade and had to stay put and they missed their, they thought they'd missed their time. And um, 
and they hadn't, so we gave them a little grace period. They gave we gave them a fifteen minute grace period that they could um if they didn't if they got stuck on something or, or whatever, then they could make it. So they um they enjoyed that. So that was fun. Uh um Oh, thanks, Lisa. Yeah, it actually has got a little bit, it's got a little bit thicker on top, so I'm really happy about that, so, but it's coming in curly. I'm getting a little bit of curl on it, but I'll get it, uh, I'll get it trimmed a little bit just to take the curl off and stuff, so I, I want to, I don't really want to get the curl going again. I like it this short, so it's easy, really easy to take care of. So that's, that's, you know, I've got, my hair looks like a Brillo. Uh, yeah, I, uh, mine would be out to here if I was down there with that humidity. I know what the, um, I know what the humidity can do on hair. So that, um, probably, so, um, back to the Disney trip, probably the best part of that trip was the electric light parade was still there. And mom had to be in a scooter, like go for whatever, you know, whatever you want to call it. And Pete's dragon came around. I was filming it. And all of a sudden, here come Pete's head down. And all of a sudden, I got this big blast of dry eyes, let, like smoke, let, like he was blowing smoke out of his nose, right into the camera. It was so amazing. And it was, it looked great on, on the tape, you know. And it, um, it, that was just one thing of the trip. You know, we never forgot. And I've got moms. Um, Mickey Mouse picture, and I've got her pins too. I'll get her pins out. I'll get her pins out one time and show you show you some of the pins, and you can see what uh, what those look like and stuff. So this is going to be a short show today because I'm just finding my way again and then trying to figure out you know what I want to talk about or what I want to do. Um, today I'm going to show you a video. Uh, which was from, I did a little series on Instagram called uh, Crick, Here's Cricket's Coffee or something. And um, yeah, so many little, oh, absolutely. You know, I'll never forget the talking Mickey Mickey and, you know, and, um, you know, getting to see all the characters and things. We have our own Disney pictures and, and that I think have gotten lost in moves and things, but we're planning a trip back, so it'll be um, a little bit more of a challenge with Phil having to need um, need a scooter. And um, he's on oxygen now, so that'll be that's our that's our two challenges. Oh, um, I've got some crochet projects I'm working on, and then a couple of knit. And, um, I'll show this off one one day. I'll have a light in the yard while I talk to you and maybe work it out. You can, I can crochet a little bit while you guys are hanging out and stuff. So let me get to this video. It's, um, but anyway, I, I mean, I love Disney movies. I, we've got, you know, um, Disney Plus. Oh, speaking of Disney Plus, um, August, I think. Now, I don't know whether you guys will get it or not, but I'll check back with you and remind you to have a look over there. They're doing a series on, it's called AFLW. It's, it, it's the Australian Football League Women's Division. And one of, it, it's a documentary, and one of the teams they'll be looking at is the Adelaide Crows, which is where we live. And that we, you'll be able to see the team that, that we bear for, root for, and um, get to um, have a little understanding about, um, you know, Australian rules and, and how different that is and stuff. So I'll keep you posted on that. I'm not quite sure when it's supposed to start, but it will. They're telling us August, so I'm not sure if it's in your market or not. I know on um, on our cable, I think it's National Geographic, we're getting the Disney um, we're getting the Disney um, animal series from uh, Animal Kingdom which I remember watching on, 
on Disney Plus. So it's good to see it yeah, getting picked up here. Yeah, it's it's taken a long time for them to get to get the attention that they, they deserve, but they play just as hard and you know, exposed to the injuries and things as the guys are. And um uh, sorry. Um but they don't get the you know, they don't get they get paid, but not anywhere near what the guys get paid to play and um still got a long way to go yet. But it's they're slowly getting there. And, and the team that we buried, the, the the league has been active for six years. And the Adelaide Crows have won what they call the flag. Three out of those six. Or four out of the six, I think. Something like that. It's been five years. But anyway, um, they want to look at our success and you know, what it's done and everything like that. So, okay. I'm going to flick on this video. This is an old video. Um, and I'll watch it with you because I haven't seen it for a while. And it'll be a little strange because I've got hair. So, and this is one of my, I think this is my getting to know me stream. So, here we go. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I'm Cricket. This is Cricket's Coffee. Let's get started. Hey guys, how are you? I know it's been a while. Let me mute this sound and we can get started. Hey, how is everybody? Hope you're doing well, keeping safe and trying to not go stir crazy and all this mess that's called the world at the moment. Um, I thought today I would do, I've got my notes here and I thought today I would do 10 things you might not know. I'm watching one of the cats get in the uh, yarn box over here. So it should be interesting. I thought I'd give you 10 things that maybe you didn't know. Okay, so here's here's, here's my checklist. So you can see I've actually got it. A lot of you guys know me by Cricket. And that's my professional name. Uh, but my given name is Christina. Um, my middle name is Louise. Um... I was adopted, so my adoptive parents gave me, um, my birth mom had named me Christina, and so they kept it, so I would have that little connection to her. So my given name is Christina Louise, but everybody knows me as Cricket. Uh, number two on the list is my hometown, my American hometown is, uh, I say Columbus, Ohio, because everybody knows where that where that is. But it's a little town outside of Columbus, uh, probably about an hour east outside of Columbus, called Alexandria. Just a little tiny farm town. Um, my Australian hometown is Adelaide. I live in South Australia, so there's there's the two. Um, how did I meet Phil? Is one question I get a lot of. Phil and I are the product. Of an internet romance. Yes, you heard that correctly. We met when MSN, this is over 20 years, well, 20 years ago, when MSN had chat rooms, and we met in a chat room, and he asked me to come back the next day, and I said yes, and as we say, the rest is history. Uh, number four, when did I arrive? I arrived here in Australia, October 1st. 2000 that was the same day as the olympics was going on here in sydney that was interesting to say the <laughs> least <clears throat> um yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah. guys know i didn't crush I, my passion my love you've seen my work i still love um, you anyway too. i have a new instagram cricket fox underscore six three which i'll put in the in the description which that's going to kind of show off all my, all, all of the knit crochet stuff. Um, my mom taught me to knit, but instead of sitting next to mom, I stood in front of mom. So I wound up learning how to knit left-handed, drive her around the twist. Now dad taught me how to crochet, but it was mom who bought the crochet book to learn and dad's the one that picked it up and ran with it so i learned from dad but since i've been here um i've learned from a great site called the crochet crowd 
Um, for knitting, it's uh, Marley Bird and uh, BerryBing.com. I forgot Sherry's site that I've really worked on my knitting and my crocheting with those guys. Um, how did I start writing? A lot of people want to know. Um, I've written all my life, but I really, really got stuck into it when Phil had his accident. <clears throat> Phil had his accident in 08, um, really injured his back. He, he was, I'm sorry, <clears throat> I like cleared that up there. Um, he was unloading a big and overweight pallet of um, alcohol. The alcohol went one way and Phil went the other. And um, he called me from the car and he said, you're going to have to help me get in. I've done my back in. So I will call me when you get here. No, I'm here. I'm in the driveway. So I pretty much had to carry him um, into bed. And that is, that's the day the marriage changed. That's the day I became a carer. Um, that's the day I started writing to just find a little bit of, I don't know, solace of, of something for me, escape. And I've just turned it into a business. So, um, that's how that got started. A uh, production company. Phil and I have a production company called the Fox and the Crow uh, Productions. And that's pretty much, that's the company name. But all my blogs and everything I do kind of fall under that, you know. Uh, are the subsidiaries, I guess you could say, of that. So, um, that's how we kind of keep it all together and, and professional. And, and we've done weddings and birthdays and we've done vi shop video and, and, um, taken photos and I put them together with music, which you guys have seen some of that on my YouTube channel. So, and we still do that from time to time, not as much as the moment. But with Phil's challenges, it's, you know, it's a little hard. Oh, um, kids. Yes, I have kids. I have two daughters, Alicia and Kendra. I have two stepsons, Michael and David. Uh, I have two grandkids, um, from, a, a li from Elizabeth. No, that's my granddaughter. From Alicia's second marriage, uh, so... I've not got to see them yet, well, in person, but we play on um, FaceTime and stuff a lot when we can, so. Um, that's number eight. Number nine, Australian sports. Um, we have Australian rules football here, which there's one more game to go. That's grand final. Uh, we support the Adelaide Crows, um, which is the local footy team, so we support them. Uh, I have a blog about them called The 19th Floor, if you're ever curious, um, let me know and I'll send you the link. Um, I do, I'm, I'm a born and bred college NFL brat, I guess you could say. Um, cause I come from Columbus, which is, uh, college football. That's a high state, big rivalry with that team up north. You know, you don't, yeah, that team. Yeah. But if you know the rivalry, you know the school I'm talking about. TTUN, that team up north. And um, you never said that in our house when I was growing up. I, I was looking at a at a program at that school, and Dad says, well, if you get accepted, don't bother coming home. And he meant it. So, <laughs> um, so I, you know, I was raised in the traditions of, Ohio State. Now, there was the, there are the Bengals and the Browns in Ohio. You would think I would follow one of them, but no, I follow the Dallas Cowboys. So, yes, Stacy, I hear you. <laughs> um, I followed the Cowboys since I can remember. Um, when I was married to the girls' dads, we were, you know, kind of rooted for Green Bay. You know, they had cheese heads and, and everything, and but I still always followed Dallas. I followed Miami for a while when Dan Marino uh, was around and still playing. So I um, 
I love my baseball too. I follow the White Sox. Um, I've kind of been out of baseball for a few years and was looking for, you know, looking for somebody to follow again. And I got to reading about the White Sox and um, a good friend of mine, his brother, was a, just an absolute diehard Sox fan. So I started following them. Um, been there ever since. Uh, I have a blog, of course, I write about the Sox. Um, I got to see the Cincinnati Reds play in the day of the uh, Big Red Machine. So that was fun to go to the you know, go to the Reds games and things like that. I'm hoping it'd be nice to go to a baseball game while I'm home to visit, but uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I have done some analyst work. Um, now I am Pete McDevitt's analyst for when he's hosting football games. So um, Tuesday, Monday night football Tuesday for me, um, there are games going on because we had no game on Friday. So that felt weird to have a day off yesterday, but I enjoyed it. So there you go. Ten things uh, uh, about me. Um, if you want to know more, leave me a question in the comments below. Um, I need to get ready to cover WWE, which is something else I raise the kids on and love watching it now and um, have a little bit of a stability following in a block. But you guys take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I miss you guys. Um, I hope we can catch up soon. Um, remember to hang tough. I got your back. My name is Cricket. You need to drill. My name is Cricket. This is Cricket's Carnival Coffee Cup, and it's loaded with coffee. That's 10 o'clock. I'm going to go drink. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, guys, good. There we go. Solo layout. There we go. Thanks, guys, for, um, I hope that comes through okay. Um... A couple of the blogs I did talk about, I will drop them in the, I'll drop them in the description when I add them so you guys can find them if you'd like to read them. Uh, and I have numerous accounts of blogs. Uh, thanks, Molly. I appreciate that. Um, I've also written some books, but I'll talk about that another time. So, but yeah, that, that, that was my little, um, surprise. <laughs> Uh, it, it's a big step. I still, Lisa, I still have a hard time, you, you know, kind of putting myself out there. But the more I do it, the more I get, you know, comfortable at it and stuff. And I'll get there. <laughs> yeah, we can all agree on it. And as soon as we're done here, guess what? I'm going to go make another cup. So, um, but I just thought that'd be a quick way to start out, you know, just to... Um, um, and you guys know you can ask me anything, anytime. Thanks, Jennifer. I appreciate that. Uh, don't be or leave me a question. I'll be happy to answer it. If I don't know the answer right away, I'll find you one. So, um, no, uh, no worries there. <laughs> oh, I can drink coffee all the time. So, anyway, guys, I yeah, I'm going to be just really short today, just about. Yeah, about half an hour is what I'm comfortable doing, and eventually we'll get to go longer. Um, but we'll talk about, you know, we'll, we'll be silly a lot. We'll be serious sometimes. Uh, um, we'll see. We'll just kind of see what happens. I'm going to go uh, twice a month on Wednesdays. So just look for me about this time. Um, about half, you know, about half an hour here. So, um 45 minutes. I know there's other shows on tonight. So I want to thank you guys for stopping in. I really super appreciate it. And stay safe out there. And like I said, you know, keep, keep some, I hope you have a positive today. We all need a positive. So, you know, if you're struggling with something, I hope you can um, just take a breath and, and let go of it for a little bit. Change your thinking. Maybe that'll help. And um, I love you guys. Mwah! Big love. And I will talk to you uh, in two weeks. So, bye.